Playing video games has helped surgeons refine their skills in the operating room, but how much better would they be if they could practice the operation itself? Now, a University of Washington doctor is conducting a study to find out if virtual reality training makes a difference. King 5's Gene Ennerson with the story. 100. Pilots do it. Practice their flying maneuvers without ever leaving the ground. But they're not the only ones. Athletes, musicians, dancers, even uh, TV news reporters warm up right before they do their piece, their performance, etc. And we don't. By we, Dr. Tom Lendve means surgeons warming up for robotic surgery using the Da Vinci robot. The purpose of the study is to determine whether doing some type of short five to ten minute warm-up on a virtual reality robotic simulator improves surgical performance on the robot itself. The study is a joint venture between the UW and Army doctors at Madigan, utilizing new computer software from Mimic Technologies, a company developed by a UW engineering grad. Researchers want to test if this really makes a difference to the surgeon and, more importantly, to the patient. That would be the, the holy grail of this research, is basically finding that, yes, warm-up works, and yes, I can provide Mrs. Smith with a better outcome because I have primed myself right before surgery. The program even gives feedback if the surgeon applies too much pressure. It's just getting really red. It's just saying, hey, 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 stop that. Eventually, the goal is to customize the software to each patient's anatomy using data from CT scans or MRIs to make the virtual reality experience even more realistic. I could do the difficult parts of the case in a very safe environment where I'm allowed to make errors and learn from my mistakes and then go and do the surgery now having practiced it beforehand. So, and that's, that would be the best we can offer patients. The University of Washington has a lab called ISIS, which is devoted to medical simulators, from mannequins to computerized virtual reality. I'm Gene Anderson, King 5 Health Link, linking you to better health. Medical students, surgical residents, and faculty will be involved in the study, which will run until March 2000.